And you have this big focus on like speaking. Obviously, it's in the name of the company. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, and I think the speech models were maybe a little delayed compared to the text models. Did you ever think about, okay, maybe speech is just not going to work for this use case? Or like, what were kind of like the valleys of, you know, discomfort? And then what were maybe some of the pivotal releases and models that you were like, okay, it's going to work. It might take a little longer, but it's going to work. So we've always done custom speech stuff. The first act of the company, if you will, was before LMs, right? Before 2022, when Whisper came out, when ChatGPT came out. In the years before that, you know, like roughly two to three years, is when we feel like we found PMF in South Korea and then started growing still only in that market, still only teaching English. And we developed custom speech recognition models and users were speaking into the app all day. So we had a ton of this non-native English speaker data. And we would use that to fine-tune models, understand our users better. We still do that today. And it's important for us for the core recording loop in many of our lessons that it's extremely fast. So we're very latency sensitive there's many other sort of product surfaces within the app today that are more LLM powered, where it's more open-ended, real tutoring, where we actually give you feedback on what you said in the semantics and so on. So that stuff is more like whisper powered, more LLM powered, but we've always had like a very fast core ASR loop that's been fully custom. 